Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And it has, and for a while, for the last couple of videos, I've been constantly saying that it's coming. And, well, what is that's coming? Well, Tuesday, July 27th, is the one year anniversary of this blog, of this YouTube blog. It's been exactly one year, it'll be exactly one year. And in that time, we've had a lot of interesting stuff. We've gotten over, over a hundred episodes. Um... Over 90 subscribers, big shout out to all of you guys who sign and subscribe, it's because of you that I still do this blog, and the reason why we've gotten to one year. And so, for that I decided I wanted to do something special for you guys, and also, the, the, um, a couple of, we um, couple of weeks ago was my birthday, so I decided what can I do to celebrate my birthday and also celebrate this one year anniversary. And this is what I've decided. That's right everyone, I have purchased a Warhound Titan from Forge World of the Mars Pattern Configuration for my Imperial Guard army. And to celebrate my one year anniversary, I'm going to assemble this guy on screen. Now, I know what a lot of people you're probably thinking is, is you know, Helios, this is going to take forever to build in just one video segment. Well, to because this is a one year special and this is a very special model, I'm going to make multiple episodes a day for the entire week. Um, dedicated to just building this model. So today, so I'm going to post three episodes minimum a day, plus an additional videos on Tuesday, the official one year anniversary for this video blog. And this is all thanks because of you guys, because you guys still watch this, because you've subscribed, and I hope, I assume, told your friends and everything. This video has stayed on for one year, and hopefully will be on for more years to come. So big shout out to all my subscribers and everyone who watches this video. And for those who are thinking, no, this doesn't mean this is going to mean on my two-year anniversary I'm going to get a Reaver Titan. This is probably going to be the last really large purchase I make from Forge World, and I decided if this is going to be it, I was going to go out with a bag and do something big. And most assuredly, you can't get any bigger than this. I actually got the one. This is what I came home to one day after work, after making the purchase on Forge World, and I figured we'll go through this um, box and see what act what goodies I have inside here. Now, I decided on the Mars pattern um, Titan because, like I've said in some videos, this is a Adaptus Mechanicum themed army, so I figured a Mars pattern Warhound Titan would be most fitting for it, and comes with a quick little, you know, supplement cat catalog, gives you a little bit of info on some of the new stuff that's available to purchase on Forge World website, um, the shipping order, and let's see what's here, uh, the instruction manual for the plasma gun arm, um, I took that out of the bag before when I was checking to make sure everything was there, and open it up here, looking through, bubble wrap, we've got our vanilla envelope with cardboard backing that reveals the official certificate of the Warhound giving my army permission to have this um, Warhound Titan deployed to my forces from the forces of Mars and its issue number is number 2345 and it's got its official Mechanicum seal so it's all nice and official and then we got all of this beauty now what we got here first is the plasma arm because the weapons are no longer sold with the Titan. I had to purchase these separately, so which is great. I got to choose my own weapon configuration and I went with the Titan plasma arm and a turbo laser because those are one of my two favorite con um, configurations over all of them. And then we have, okay, let's one second here. Yeah, what came in was um, all folded up are the instructions for how to build them. These aren't really instructions, but they actually are a lot better than what um, Forge World usually gives you. What it is is it shows pit basically a basic picture of each of the body parts with a suggested listing order 
um, how to um, um, how to um, assembly options with them, what you would need to, aside from what you normally would for building models, a guide to show you which joints look which pistons look like which, so when they tell you what pistons to put where, you have a better understanding. And then it basically has a guide of showing which um, which uh, which parts go where in pictures, so you can actually see what they look like, and some helpful tips on how on how to build and what to look for when using the pieces and such. And there's about six pages of instructions in there. And then we got this really big bag, which has the Titan bits in it. We've got the we got this looks like um part of the um body piece itself and we've got all the shoulder pads non foot pads and such armor plating and metal grid for um, the heating vents on the top of the thing we got the main body chassis cover and some hip joints and some crew members in there really nice and we also got the actual bulk of the body right here and we got ourselves all the little pistons and foot joints and such that we'll need to get the heat started on this bad boy. And we also got the leg, the main leg joints and extra symbols and such. Like this thing comes with a lot of like little small details. It comes with a bunch of purity seals, mechanicum symbols. It even comes with four servo skulls, which is really awesome. And now, like, like I'm going to treat this video like my um, conversion corner setup, where you're not going to see me paint anything on camera. You're just going to see me mostly assembling this guy. If there's something that I want to feel, you know, I want to show you guys me painting, then I will. But for the most part, it's going to be just me assembling this model. And what I'm going to be doing is, is like in that um, conversion corner section, I'm going to take what I didn't use of the Bombard's Chimera, to make like a disheveled, wrecked, um, Traitor Legion, um, vehicle, like an Imperial Guard vest, um, Chimera that turned traitor on the, for, on the Imperium, and deck it out and have him standing on it with one foot down on it, bending its leg, and then lying, um, across it, with, and then lying across it to, um, and then having his other foot settling down and like pivoting in like a scan like you know just took just was in a heat battle with with um a bunch of with a bunch of um enemies and such and this chimera was the last thing the only like piece of debris that was left and it's now scanning the, surveying the area to see what else it can fire upon so hopefully that'll look really nice and, and that is basically it this is a very hefty model for sure and then we're going, and so that's basically it for this. Um, if you so get get you get everybody get settled in. So we're going to be posting another video up probably um, later today, and we're going to post videos up all week until this model is finished. And so until next time, this is Helios Raven signing off.